Howdy doody, it's Dory McMucky and tea time in Bucky. Now I didn't ken about ye, but after a long day of lambing and dismissing the notion of modernity, there's nothing more refreshing than a wee spottity tea. But your fly club is just a bleak reflection of your futile existence in an uncaring universe without a wee biscuit to ging along with. And there's nae biscuit mere Scottish than shortbread. And that's fit for marking. Here's what you'll be needing. 125 grams of salted butter, 175 grams of flour, and 50 grams of sugar. Put your oven on to 120 C. If you're nae sick of it's hit enough, put your horn inside and check. Or just wait for the lick to gang off. Put the butter and the sugar together in a bowl and cream them all up. I'm going to use a stone mixer for this, because it's a lot easier and because it's near 1603. Seen? You'll see the butter is all licked and fluffy. If you're a kind of guard you with any self-control or you work in the rigs, you could just eat this the new. For everyone else, add in a bit of flour and a pinch of salt and ripe it in to a nice dough. Take your dough and row it out so it makes a flat sheet. About as uh, thick as your thumb. If your thumb's too thick, mark the sheet thinner. Or consider corrective surgery. You can either cut these into fingers or make a wee pizza thing like this. Get a fork and mark wee marks all over it and score it with a knife. Now chuck it into the oven and bake it for 45 minutes. Did you ken that in 1994, 50,000 tins of Walker shortbread had to be recalled, but because the company name had a misprint. Now it's out of the oven, and look, it's shortbread. Serve with your fly cup, and there you go. Shortbread. Shortbread. Short. Bread. Shortbread. Bye for now!